All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right, Yahweh, Shirala, we're going to get straight into it. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 32 and 4. I will leave you on the land. I will cast you on the open field, and I will cause all the birds of the heavens to dwell on you. All right. Here you go. Hikers discover bear eating man in Great Smoky Mountains campsite. Yeah, these animals are bugging out right now. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's just all type of stuff going on. A black bear searches for food in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. A group of hikers in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park ended their trekking hard after discovering a bear dining on human remains. While walking the North Carolina arm of the Hazel Creek Trail just a few miles from Tennessee border, the group passed what appears to be a deserted campsite where they encountered a scattering of body parts. So, a deserted campsite. So, he probably was camped out. And Yogi came and got him. Yogi back. You know? And yeah, this is um, 2 Kings 9 and 10. The dogs shall eat Jezebel in the territory of Jezreel, and none shall bury her. Then he opened the door and fled. Yeah, because remember, the dogs ate and left her hands, feet, and I think her head. You know? And these, these animals, they know what time it is right now. They, they, they know the judgment is befalling, you know, Babylon. You know? So, yeah, I'm thinking that, you know, they seen everything scattered. They probably just found that man hands and feet, you know, and found that bad dining on them. You know, that's what's, that's what's going on. You know, that's the time we're getting into. They, even, even, the, even the animals know that Dr. E time is up. All right, let's keep going. A nearby, nearby bear was spotted scavenging the area, according to a park press release. Park rangers received a call just at the 7 p.m. Friday as soon as the hikers returned to an area with cellular coverage. You know, and that ain't all I think being out in the woods, um, camping and stuff like that. You know, that's that's what um, Dr. E be doing, you know. All right, staff arrived at campsite 82 shortly after midnight and confirmed the report of a deceased adult human male. Park official said the Charlotte Observer reported Saturday. Rescuers also saw a bear, presumably the same one spotted by hikers hours before, actively scavenging on the remains. Then they euthanized the creature, although the cause of death cannot firmly be traced back to the bear at this time. Alright. And here's another story. Well, it just gets wilder. They gotta shoot the sharks up. The sharks trying to eat them while they're in the ocean swimming. Because they know back to eat time is up. They're not afraid of eating them. Turn back. Turn back. Yeah. And that's military personnel. Get right there. Get on board. a whole bunch of them. The sharks are random. And they, you know, they out there trying. And that is fish, the sharks, and the things happen. Okay, check this out. A part of Killer Wells is accused of orchestrated attacks on boats terrifying the sailors and baffling scientists. Yeah, they got together and planned an attack. 
All right, a series of aggressive actions by over whales along the coast of Spain and Portugal has left scientists baffled. Many sailors have sent distress calls after orcas have left their boats seriously damaged and crew members injured in the past two months, as detailed by the observer. A crew member of a 46-foot delivery boat described being surrounded by nine orcas that rammed the boat for an hour. Wow, all oh, praises. Yeah, causing it to spin 180 degrees and the engine to shut down. Yeah, see, these animals, they're getting smart. That's why they, like, when the coronavirus hit, you see them all out in the hood. You see them all out in the city, you know, because, hey, you know, the most high is putting that spirit on them with, though, you know, they're going to they gonna get in a fight, you know. Experts told the observer that the behavior was highly unusual and that it was unlikely though not impossible. The orcas were mounting deliberate attacks. Yeah, see that? They, they planned out an attack on them. One researcher told the observer that she believed there could be signs of stress with orcas in the crowded Gibraltar Street competing at times with fishing boats for fish. So they're like, hey, we're going to get you done. Killer whales are said to be ramming and harassing sailboats traveling along the Spanish and Portuguese coast in a series of incidents that have left scientists baffled. Sailors have sent numerous distress calls in the past two months, detailed to the observer, with reports of crew members sustaining bruises and at least one boat having to be towed away because of serious damage. Damn. In one instance, a crew member on a 46-foot delivery boat described being surrounded by nine orcas off Cape Trafalgar in Spain. A crew member, Victoria Morris, Moore said the whales, which can weigh up to six tons, rammed the boat continually for one hour, causing it to spin 180 degrees and the engine to shut down. Morris told the observer that the incident felt like a totally orchestrated attack. Yeah, it was. The noise was really scary. Moore said they were ramming the kill. There was this horrible echo. I thought they could capsize the boat. So they was yelling at them. Because remember, they, you know, they make them echoes and them sounds, you know, underwater to communicate with each other. They probably, <laughs> they, they probably was like, you, <laughs> you mother effing devil. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I thought they could capsize the boat. And this deafening noise as they communicated, whistling to each other. <laughs> oh, man, it was so loud that we had to shout. The Okapa had left by the time help arrived, but the boat still had to be towed to a nearby town called Barbate. There, the rudder was found to be damaged with teeth marks along the boat's underside. Several days earlier, a man was motorcycling alone off Barbie when he heard a sound like a sledgehammer and saw his wheel turning with incredible force. Nick Giles told the observer that his 34-foot moody yacht spun 180 degrees as he felt it lift up. The boat lifted up half a foot. I was pushed by a second wheel from behind. Yeah. See? They, they got them like how when, you know, they caught them slipping. While the sailor was reselling the cables, he said an orca hit again, nearly chopping off my fingers in the mechanism. Wow. In a similar instance, a crew member from another delivery boat near Bobby told the Port Authority that the force of the orcas hitting the ship nearly dislocated the helm and shoulder and spun the whole yacht through 120 degrees. Research cited by the observer said it was not unusual for orcas, which are highly social and curious animals, to follow boats or even playfully interact with them. No, they weren't playing. You know, I'm telling you, the most high is putting the spirits out here, whereas though they know who E is. That's what that is. They know who Dr. E is. It is unnatural, however, for them to become aggressive, and experts told the observer it was unlikely, though not possible, not impossible that the orcas were mounting deliberate attacks. For killer whales to take, take out a piece of fiberglass rudder is crazy. Yeah, see, they knew where to strike, how to disable the boat. Come on, man. That's the most high doing that. You know? So they, they know where to attack to stop the ship from moving. All praises for that. 
Rocia Espada, who works with the Marine Biology Laboratory at the University of Seville, has observed this population of orcas in the Gibraltar Strait for years, told the observer, I've seen these orcas grow from babies. I know their life stories. I've never seen or heard of attacks. Ruth Esteban, who has also studied the Gibraltar, Gibraltar orcas extensively, told the observer that it was unlikely multiple orca groups would display such unusual behavior and that a single group was therefore, therefore most likely responsible. Espada belie- believes said the ramming could industri- indicate stress as Gibraltar orcas are endangered and often compete with fishing boats for food in the noisy and polluted waters in the busy street. Ezekiel Kazala a Cretaceous researcher who also spoke with the observer described the Gibraltar Street as the worst place for orcas to live. Another researcher, Pauline, told the observer that competition for bluefin tuna in particular had led the local orca population to the very edge, with only about 30 adults left. Yeah, see, there you go. And I got another story I want y'all to see. Okay, these are albatross birds. The mice are eating them. The birds you need to eat them. Or eat, you know. Look, it's just, just going in on a bird. And they're not just eating like one bird. They're eating hundreds of birds. You know? You see, the, the, the nice little look, they just, they just feasting on the birds. Yeah. yeah, because they, they sleep with their eyes open, so the mice are eating them while they sleep. Yeah. And this is a baby bird, but watch what they do to this adult. Yeah, the mice is on top of his head. Well, let me rewind that again. Yeah, it's called zombie mice. Look, that's an adult albatross bird, and the mice is on his head. And they're called zombie mice because what they'll do, for some reason, they like feasting on a bird brain. Yeah, they'll climb on top of the bird and, and just eat through his brain for some reason. And see these mice and these these rats are just starting to act real crazy. It was a report came out they was catching um like two feet size rat over in Great Britain. And remember you got that plague coming back. You know, that black plague and these rodents are carrying these plagues. You know. So yeah, it's like the most high slowly winding this thing up. You know. So yeah. Let me show you. Yeah, look at the bird. The bird is still alive. Look, totally ate through his head. Don't kill it. Just just eat like parts of his brain and look, whole hole in the bird um brain. You know, these animals just acting crazy as hell. You know. Alright. Okay, remember the murder on it? You got a wasp called the executioner wasp. This is the wasp right here. This wasp, if it sting you, the stinging feeling could burn for up to a month. Now, remember, the most high sent hornets and wasps, you know, into Egypt, you know, and when um we we was leaving, you know. So um yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lot going on, you know. So, um, this is Amos 5 and 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, 
or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You know? So yeah, like I said, even these animals know that this man time is up. You know, he's not afraid of them, they just doing whatever. You know, so um yeah, I just wanted to bring that out. Hopefully y'all was edified as I was. And on to the next one, Shalom.